Good evening, graduates. At this point, please find your seats and make sure your robes are zipped. Again, please find your seats and make sure your robes are zipped. Thank you.
class of 2021, please pay attention to your ceremony instructions. Please stay socially distanced for the entire ceremony. This includes walking to and from the stage. When you arrived, you found program, programs on your chairs. You will need to take these with you when you are excused from the ceremony. You are also given a name card. You will need to bring this to the stage for your name to be called. Your cords and medals are for you to keep. Everyone who is a Charleston County Board Scholar, we will be collecting your stoles as you exit at the end of the ceremony. The ceremony will begin shortly with a few speeches and recognitions before you come to the stage. The junior marshal, seated at the end of your row, will give you the cue to stand up as a row when it is time to approach the stage. When you stand, Remember to take your name card and proceed to the stage, but remember to socially distance yourself from the person in front of you. Do not worry if you forget your name card at your seat. Someone will be located near the steps of the stage to write a new card if you need it. When you arrive at the stage, hand your card over to the person next to the podium. Please use the handrails when entering the stage as the steps may be wet. Wait until you hear your name and then proceed across the stage. Please remember that this is a formal ceremony. You are expected to walk gracefully across the stage. Once you exit the stage, proceed to the mark area for a graduation photo and then to the tent to receive your diploma. You will then proceed back to your seat. Again, remember to remain socially distanced throughout this entire ceremony. Good evening and welcome to Wando High School's Class of 2021 graduation. I'm Ian Bossy, your senior class president. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good evening. I'm Sherry Applesheimer, principal of Wando High School. On behalf of the Wando faculty and staff, it's my honor to welcome you to our 48th Wando High School commencement at Robert E. Hayes Field. Today is intended to formally recognize these young people for having reached an educational milestone by receiving their diplomas. 
they are now ready to begin the next phase of their lives. There's a, there's a distinguished guest with us this evening for this special occasion. I'd like to introduce Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Jeff Barrowe. <laughs> Highly successful schools employ great people. Our counselors, teachers, media specialists, administrators, and our dedicated support staff make real differences in the lives of our students. Our faculty and staff make us one of the best high schools in America. We need to especially thank Misty LeClaire, Jason and Diana Sox, Tammy Betzel, Assistant Principals Todd Kaplan and Steve Leggett, and Lee Howes, who have helped organize and coordinate three graduation ceremonies. I'd also like to recognize other distinguished guests, our Wando parents and Wando families. <clears throat> These people have been with you throughout your entire lives. They sent you to a large high school with some fear and anxiety, and now they can't believe how fast you grew up. We also congratulate the parents and the families of our graduating seniors. Today, Wando is one of the largest high schools in South Carolina and is well known in the state and nation for outstanding academics, first class athletics, incredible opportunities in the arts, and wonderful and varied student organizations, clubs, and activities. Many of you seniors received cords. Some of the cords represent recognition from various honor societies. Please note that more than 988 cords have been earned in recognition of having completed a major. That's four elective courses in one area of concentration. Some students earned a cord in more than one area and some earned none. Students who didn't complete a major often took courses in several areas which will help them narrow the search for their future careers. This evening, we have the following breakdown of majors completed this year by the class of 2021. Arts and Humanities, 244. Business and Information Systems, 57. Health, Human, and Public Services, 287. Math, Science, and Engineering, 129. Our AP major, that's four or more AP courses, 271. Now, I wish to take a moment to speak personally to these some 929 fine young people who are candidates for graduation. As a class, you represent the best in American youth. You've come together as Wando Warriors and become a class that has set high marks for future students. To earn a high school diploma in South Carolina, a minimum of 24 course credits is required. As a class, you earn, on average, 30 credits. You moved from the old perspective that a minimum high school diploma was the goal to the new reality that you need to take everything you can in high school to be better prepared to succeed at the next level in order to be college and career ready. The average GPA of this class is 3.86. You have excelled academically, athletically, artistically, and in all areas of Wando life. As a class, you've embraced new challenges and opportunities. Eight years ago, we opened our AP Academy to encourage all students to take more advanced placement courses. We now have 509 members of the AP Academy in grades 10 through 12. 183 seniors are active members of the AP Academy. This evening, 127 of our seniors will be recognized as honor graduates. In May, Wando students took over 2,500 AP exams. Seniors alone took 911 AP courses with an average grade of 90. Additionally, students took 1,293 dual credit courses with a 93% passage rate. That comes to more than 3,609 college credit hours earned. You'll save your parents money. The class of 2021 has earned 27,249,000 $688 in scholarships. In your years, in your years at Wando, 
You've compiled quite an incredible list of notable achievements. The success and awards you have earned at the state and national levels in almost every area of student life are amazing. Please listen to just some of the Wando High School accomplishments for 2020-2021. Scholastic Art and Writing, 31 total awards, four golden keys, five silver keys, and nine honorable mentions. Wando Jr. Ella Drew Dodd received third place for her work entitled Irving. This piece will hang at Congresswoman Nancy Mace's office for a year. Tribal Tribune, again received Best in State by the South Carolina Scholastic Press Association. Again received the Silver Crown from Columbia Scholastic Press Association. Received the 2020 Pacemaker Award by the National Scholastic Press Association. Orchestra. Wando Orchestra had the most students, 33 in fact, in the program's history accepted to SCMEA Region Orchestra this year. All three orchestras earned straight superior ratings on the SCMEA Concert Performance Assessment. Our Honors Orchestra received the highest ratings of all groups that participated. Yearbook, The Legend. Best Yearbook in the South by Southern Interscholastic Press Association, a first in Wando history. Received 43 individual first place awards at the Southern Interscholastic Press Association convention, a Wando and a SIPA record. Blue and Gold Award for Comprehensive Writing and Quill and Scroll. Senior Olivia Potter, the legend editor in chief, was named the 2021 Scholastic Journalist of the Year. Chorus, this was a difficult year. However, they performed in three innovative outdoor concerts, two virtual choir concerts, Cabaret and the Serenity Project. Six students earned a three-time SCMEA All-State Chorus Awards. Band, also a difficult year due to COVID. 2021 large ensembles. It's still the reigning South Carolina State 5A marching band champion winning their 12th state championship. This is now the highest record in South Carolina 5A history. The marching band was able to rehearse in multiple phases and put on shows for four football games. Small ensembles. Small ensembles traveled around the community putting on pop-up performances at local businesses. Our concert band one performed for a collegiate panel virtually receiving feedback from professionals from all over the country. Solo work. 61 students in all state, including concert and jazz bands. 55 in all state. There were 23 from the next highest school. Overall, Wando had 105 all region members. Economics. Our team won the economics challenge again. We also had a team come in second place. This makes seven consecutive years. Foreign language. 81 seniors were awarded the Distinguished SC Seal of Biliteracy, an award given to students who have studied and demonstrated proficiency in English and at least one other language by the time they graduate high school. Four teacher cadets won a South Carolina teacher Teaching Fellow Scholarship. Athletically, this year's results are equally as impressive. Region champs in boys and girls cross country, girls and boys golf, volleyball, boys and girls tennis, competition cheer, boys and girls swimming, girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, wrestling, boys and girls lacrosse, and boys and girls track. State champs, you did it ladies. Volleyball, girls swimming, and girls soccer. Wando coaches were selected as region coaches of the year. Boys and girls golf, volleyball, boys and girls cross country, boys and girls swimming, girls basketball, girls lacrosse, and girls soccer. We've just recently learned that Wando Athletics again won the coveted Carlisle Cup Award, signifying Wando as the best 5A athletic program in 2020-2021. Individually and collectively, you've used your talents and put Wando on the state and national map. No matter your individual talents or success to date, you now go forward as a member of the class of 2021, a graduate of one of the best high schools in the USA. 
Seniors, you've navigated through these difficult times, but you've learned much, persevered, and continued to pursue excellence. Challenges have become opportunities, and opportunities have provided you with finding unknown strengths within yourselves. The class of 2021 has finished the year strong and confident of a secure future. You are the true meaning of resilience. Be the warrior, and always remember, once a warrior, always a warrior. Don't dwell on the events of the past 15 months, what would have, could have, or might have been. Focus on the positive. What will be in your future, and what will you contribute? What's most important to me is that you leave us well prepared for the challenges ahead. Be good citizens and do your part to make the world a better place. It's been a great year to be a Wando warrior. Thank you for your part in making it such a success. God bless you all. Good evening. My name is Claire Lady, and I served as the student body president for the 2020-2021 school year. To the class of 2021, I would like to start off by saying that it is an honor to be standing before my fellow classmates, parents, and Wando staff. It has been an even bigger honor to have served as your student body president this school year. A special thank you to all of the teachers, staff, parents, and loved ones for all the support you've given us these past four years. If I could tell my freshman year self one thing, I'd tell her to go back and take more time to enjoy it all. I wish I could go back and tell myself that it's okay to not do well in every test I take, and that the world's not gonna end if I don't get all my service hours in, and that college applications take time to complete, and that's okay. One of the biggest things that we're told as students is that school comes first, and I'm here to tell you that's wrong. Your physical, mental, and emotional health comes first. And I'm not saying that school's not important. In fact, I'm saying the complete opposite. I'm saying that prioritizing our own well-being allows us to give our best effort towards what needs to be done. This year, our class was robbed of a lot of senior events that we've been looking forward to since our terrified, awkward 14-year-old selves set foot into Wando. However, we quickly accepted the circumstances of this year and made it our own because we worked too hard to walk across this stage to not get the senior year that we deserve. I think how we handled it deserves to be recognized. I truly believe that we came together and made out the best out of the senior year we were given. Wando has been our home away from home for the last four years, so on behalf of the class of 2021, the Student Council Leadership Board has decided to make the senior gift something to maintain the beauty of our now alma mater's campus. We will be paying to have the Wando Diamonds repainted on Warrior Way in front of the school. As we move on to college, the military, or into the workforce, we move one step closer to achieving the goals we've had since we were little. Good luck, class of 2021. Thank you for making the last four years so amazing and for making the school so hard to walk away from. Each year, the Charleston County Board of Trustees recognizes students who achieve academic excellence. At this time, I would like to recognize students who have received Charleston County Board Scholar Certificates. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're a Board Scholar, please stand up. This certificate is awarded to graduating seniors based on an overall grade point average of 4.25 or higher, and no rounding up or down is calculated at the, at the end of the year based on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale. We'd like to congratulate the total of 364 young men and women in the class of 2021 for their dedication in the pursuit of academic excellence. Board scholars, you may now sit. Each student selected as a Palmetto Fellow Early Awards recipient may receive a scholarship of up to $6,700 the freshman year and up to $7,500 the sophomore, junior, and senior years. To be eligible, the student must score at least 1,200 on the SAT or 27 on the ACT by the March National Test Administration. Earn a minimum 3.5 cumulative GPA on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale and rank in the top 6% of the class at the end of their sophomore or junior year. A student may also qualify 
by scoring a minimum of 1,400 on the SAT or 32 on the ACT by the March Test Administration and earn a cumulative 4.0 GPA on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale. A student who meets these qualifications must also plan to attend college in South Carolina and be a U.S. citizen. At this time, please stand up if you've been awarded a Palmetto Fellows Early Award Scholarship. Congratulations to these 95 young men and women for their dedication in the pursuit of academic excellence. You may be seated. Wow, what a great evening for graduation. Congratulations to the class of 21. We are very, very so proud of you. Well, I'm, I'm Major John Faris from the Wando Air Force Junior ROTC program, and it's my honor and distinct pleasure this evening to represent the Department of Defense and the Superintendent Vice Admiral Jack Buono of the United States Merchant Marine Academy and the Superintendent Vice Admiral Sean Buck of the Naval Academy. We are recognizing two of your classmates, Michael Calvary Frame and Caleb Michael Walker, who received and accepted military appointments to academies. Mr. Frame will attend the United States Merchant Marine Academy, and Mr. Walker will attend the United States Naval Academy. These appointments are the equivalent to being offered a full four-year scholarship to a top-tier university with a value of over $400,000 apiece. Appointments to the military academies are highly competitive the young men we are honoring today competed with thousands of other qualified students from around the country and the world. They'll be joining a select group of students that will train to be the future leaders of your military forces. They've chosen a life of service to our nation and are willing to sacrifice their personal needs to ensure the security of not only the United States, but also all of our allies. Now, upon graduation, they'll earn a Bachelor of Science degree in one of a variety of majors and will be commissioned a second lieutenant or an ensign in the service of their choice. Mr. Frame was recognized at Friday's evening's graduation ceremony. And without any further ado, at this time, will Caleb Michael Walker please come forward? A little long of a walk. <laughs> Gotta start jogging now. Well, Caleb, congratulations. And on behalf of the American people, thank you for embarking on this journey and for your future service to our great nation. Thank you. In the class of 2021, we have 10 military commitments in this senior class that we wish to rec recognize and salute. As I call your names, please come to the stage and accept your commitment coins from the Charleston County School, School Board. Brian Roadheaver. <laughs> Cassidy Slater. Sebastian Smith.
Dominic Watchorn. And Matthew White. The term valedictorian distinguishes the individuals who have maintained the highest overall grade point averages over a four-year high school career. This year, we're especially pleased to have two valedictorians. Sorry, Sebastian. Sebastian White. This year, we're especially pleased to have two valedictorians. Some of our first valedictorian's accomplishments include member of the National Honor Society, member of the Beta Club, member of the Wando High School Advanced Placement Academy, served on the Advanced Placement Academy Leadership Board, member of the Economics Challenge Team, member of the varsity football team his senior year, member of the varsity soccer team for three years, Charleston County School Board District Scholar, South Carolina Palmetto Fella Early Award recipients, and he'll be attending Georgia Tech University in the fall with plans to major in mechanical engineering. And I believe I failed to mention that he was a member of the varsity football team his senior year. Some of our second valedictorian's accomplishments include member of the National Honor Society, member of the Beta Club, member of the Wando High School Advanced Placement Academy, served as an Advanced Placement Academy mentor, served as a Warrior Ambassador, member of the Wando Honors Orchestra, College Board AP Scholar, AP Scholar with Distinction, and AP with WE Service, Charleston County School District Board Scholar, South Carolina Palmetto Fella Early Award recipient. She'll be attending Brown University in the fall with plans to major in architecture and French studies. Please join me in congratulating these two extraordinary students, the 2021 valedictorians for Wando High School. Aaron James Lemke, Jr. and Elise Morgan Petit. Hello class of 2021. It's hard to believe that our time in high school is already done. It seems like it was just yesterday when we were sitting in freshman advisement looking around with nothing to say. But from that awkward orientation day, it's clear we've come a long way. I know it's been a crazy journey for all of you, and I want to get back to that. But first, I want to thank some people for all that they do. First, I want to thank all of Wando's faculty and staff for all they did on the class of 2021's behalf. I know it couldn't have been easy getting all these students through to the end, in particular, a few of my friends, but we recognize that all the hard work you put in is not pretend, and all that you do is beyond what we can comprehend. So everyone, let's give a round of applause for all they've done for the class of 2021. <laughs> now, on to parents and family, whose love for us comes naturally. We show up to school every day but we overlook all that our parents do so that we can be kids and just play. So everyone, let's give parents and family a round of applause for all that they do for us despite our flaws. And to anyone else who contributed to this graduation, we thank you with great appreciation. Today, I wanna to leave you with a message so that I'm not just reciting some pointless passage. We've all heard plenty of speeches, but what sticks with us are the lessons the speaker preaches, not the time or place from which he talks or teaches. 
So today, I want to talk to you about people's advantages and how wasting advantages has its damages. Everyone's been given certain advantages, whether they like it or not, but the difference is some of us utilize them a lot while others don't even give them a thought. Just know advantages impact people of all ages and allow some to turn life's pages while others get stuck in one of life's stages. I just want you all to appreciate the advantages that you've gained from Wando because this great school has given you a leg up on life with no limit to where you can go. The greatest people of our generation took advantage of their opportunities without hesitation. Even Bill Gates, the man who is known for all the spectacular goods he creates, was once one of the ordinary boys with ordinary fates. What set Bill Gates apart was that he took advantage of his opportunities from the start. Yes, it is clear that he was smart, but genius is nothing without a little heart. Everyone in his community had the same opportunity. They could have accessed one of the first computers and later make history, but today, Bill Gates is the name we know because he took advantage of his opportunities in life only knowing that as a result he would grow and later have choices for where he wanted to go. So, class of 2021, take advantage of Wando. It has given you a tight-knit community that acts like a family. It has given you an education that will help you in your occupation. But most of all, it has given you friends that will be with you till the end. And it's up to you to make sure that these gifts don't go to waste as they are only for you to embrace. You have the option to make high school a wasted opportunity, which would only be an act of buffoonery, or you can make high school a first step toward prosperity, just as Neil Armstrong took a first step for humanity. However, while on your endeavor, you must be clever, since once time passes, it's gone forever. You've probably heard this once or twice. People say go for your greatest goals no matter the price. But I just wanna make sure that when in pursuit of a goal, your intentions are pure, since pursuing one thing with no deter can cause your whole life to go by in a blur. Some people are willing to do anything to be the best, but they're often less stressed and depressed as always being put to the test results in them completing their quest, but they miss out on the rest. I'm not telling you to give up on your dreams. I'm just telling you to find a balance so that you know what living a full life truly means. Look around, the world has so much to offer. You don't have to do one thing, make life an adventure. All I'm saying is, why not try every sport, learn an instrument of sort, help others find comfort, or travel the world beyond a resort. Just don't let one thing cut your whole life short. Yes, start a family, move to Sicily, solve a mystery, or even make history. Just don't let one thing cause you to miss out on life's glory. You make your own story. Now that my time is up, it's time for Elise. Not Felice, Bernice, or Clarice, Elise, the goddess of peace, who's going to give you her little peace and whose beliefs will never cease. Elise. Thank you, and good evening. I am deeply honored to stand here today as co-valedictorian and speak on behalf of this incredible student body. I would like to give a very warm welcome to our faculty, staff, and administration, distinguished district personnel, friends and families, and most importantly, you, the Wando High School class of 2021. Congratulations on everything we have accomplished, both individually and as a class together. Soon, we will no longer be Wando seniors, but instead, Wando alumni. So how does one, in two minutes, summarize their high school experience and particularly their senior year? Well, here's what some of you had to say. Different, transformative, chaotic, as good as it could have been, <laughs> eh. And my personal favorite, like that mousetrap ricochet roller coaster at Carowinds. Regardless, whatever these years were to you, I hope they were educational, and I don't just mean tests and grades and course curricula. This is the time to cultivate your mind, to open your eyes and see everything the world has to offer you. This is the time to make mistakes and to learn from them. One of the most essential lessons I have learned during these past few years is how important it is to advocate not only for others, but also for yourself. Though I am honored to stand here along with James and speak as co-valedictorian, I hope that my grades and GPA do not define me, nor anyone else for that matter. If I had to impart one message, it would be to be compassionate, empathetic, open-minded, and appreciative. 
We are fortunate here at Wando to have so many amazing teachers and such a variety of courses. We are even more fortunate to have had the opportunity to form lasting friendships with wonderful people. I know I certainly have. We all know high school has its fair share of struggles and regrets, as well as joys and triumphs. Whatever these years were to you, I hope they were meaningful. Think about it. We are here together by geographic chance and the coincidence of an age bracket. And of course, a whole lot of work. At this point, we are sitting in uniform rows and uniform caps and gowns, but we are each our own individuals, each of us with different paths to follow. Some of us are heading to college, some taking a gap year, some enlisting to serve our country, some directly entering the workforce, and some still undecided. As we all move forward, be aware of the past and mindful of the future, but always try to live in and appreciate the present. Personally, I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for their unwavering support. I appreciate those of you who challenged me to work harder, as well as those who encouraged me to work a little less. Now that the masks are starting to come off, take the time to smile at someone, to say those kind words, and to thank others for the impact they've had on your life. I've had my two minutes. Now I urge you all to take yours. Thank you again, class of 2021. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best of luck in the future. I apologize, I went out of order with the program, and this is very important. I think I'm trying to get us all out of here before the bottom drops out. Please accept my apologies. Each year at Wando, we recognize two outstanding seniors, one young woman and one young man by giving them the Principal's Award. Faculty members make nominations based on the following criteria. The students should have attained a strong record of academic involvement, demonstrated leadership and willingness to serve others through involvement in Wando life, participated fully in a variety of student activities, served as a positive role model by demonstrating integrity, honesty, and compassion, showed dedication to Wando and the community. Our male recipient demonstrates what it means to be a warrior. This young man is an exemplary student and leader in our school. His citizenship skills are surpassed and he continually demonstrates compassion, integrity, and honesty. He takes on leadership roles within and outside the classroom, yet is always respectful and considerate of others. This student participates in a wide, wide range of extracurricular activities. He's a member of the Beta Club, the Advanced Placement Academy, having completed nine courses, National Honor Society, and earned the Project Lead the Way white coat with distinction. He's also invested himself in the success of others while tutoring other students in a number of courses. Athletically, this student is a standout as well. He's a member of the varsity baseball team. He coach, his coaches describe him as a leader, always the last to leave the baseball field and, some, and someone his team can rely on to be honest and push through difficult situations. He leads by example. This student has played baseball for all four years, junior varsity as a freshman and varsity the last three years. He was captain of the team this year as well as the starting pitcher. When you look at this young person, mature beyond his years and with lofty goals, we know that the world will be a better place to live because of his leadership, caring heart, and service to others. It is my pleasure to honor Marshall Thomas Whitmer as the male winner of the Principal's Award. <laughs> Ms. Mara Marie Hansen was honored at, as the female winner at an earlier ceremony this morning. Marshall, will you please come forward and accept your award? And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas.
third girl I normally hear that pulls up. But she wasn't there that long. Amy Catherine Payton. James Burton Pagano. Angela Judah Pays Parada. Jessica Ann Palmer. Joy Gofia Parker. Taylor Ashley Parker. Aiden Joseph Parkhill. Thomas Davin Parsonetti. Elliot Jacob Peak. Atanasios William Peppard. Kai Robert Perez. Elise Morgan Petit. Brianna Claire Phelan. Alexander Dalen Phipps. Ian Zachary Peel. Matthew Samuel Pilly. Nicholas Alexander Pyle. Jacob Mark Patassi. Ellis Rose Pitts. Alexander Yannick Poker. Alexander Carl Pauline. Matthew Joseph Pauline. Olivia Janelle Panessa. Alea Mache Poche. Brianna Janae Poche. Cameron Nathaniel Poche. Jocelyn Christina Poche. Wilson Edward Poche. Grace Victoria Poremski. Olivia Ann Potter. Dennis Davidson Powell. Carson Elaine Powers. Anna Michaela Prim. Jasmine Elise Prelo. Braden Thomas Pritchard. Anthony David Puckett. Blake Aaron Puckaber. Mailer Lindsay Purcell. Jasmine Imari Qualls. Brady Philip Quick. Yeah. 
Brendan Boy Quinn. Connor Dylan Quinn. Spencer Davis Quinn. Lauren Elaine Rabb. Lawton Mead Racine. Julia Elizabeth Rafferty. Victor J. Raglan. Leo William Ratliff. William Christopher Ravenel Jr. Taylor Rhonda Reed. Hannah Claire Redden. Eliza Alice Raymond. Chloe Ashley Ryheld. Olivia Lane Renato. Savannah Elizabeth Rennell. John Levi Rhodes IV. Connor Carew Rice. David Jacob Maurice Richardson. Bella Grace Riffer. Nicholas John Riviera. Kylie Mae Robertson. Amanda Rachel Rabinowitz. David Ernest Robertson, Jr. Leah Janae Robertson. Nicholas Aaron Robinson. Brian Keith Rodheaver. Ray Raymond Robert Rowe, Jr. Elizabeth Crawford Rogers. Elizabeth Wood Rogers. Charles Joseph Rohaley. Claudia Elizabeth Rollins. Jack Weston Rollins. Mitchell Joseph Avellanoso Romano. Colin David Romberg. Melanie Romero Jimenez. Lucia Ann Ronke. <laughs> Sophia Lee Rosencrans. Lauren Elizabeth Roser. Morgan Claire Roser. Lily Florence Rothkoff.
Cecilia Lynn Rothwell. Justin Kenneth Ruggiero. Shania Alexis Russell. Sophie Victoria Sabados. John Henry Salami. Sydney Ray Salada. McKenna Reese Salvetti. Tessa Dubraca Serik. Ashley Marie Shaw. Luke Patrick Scavone. Mary Neil Sheffer. Maxfield Harrison Sheffer. Benjamin jo Joseph Schluter. Maximilian Jason Schmid. Gage Stephen Smith. Theodore Almedo Smith. Corin Robert Schroth. Grace Elizabeth Schroeder. Mary Catherine Scott. Sandra O'Sullivan Scott. Gabrielle Paul Seifert. Levi Hunter Sale. Sabrina Nicole Sellers. Thomas Edison Sexton III. Joshua Thomas Sharda. Sophie Alexandra Baldinoff Shanley. Sage Catherine Shannon. Aiden Joseph Shaughnessy. Natalie Ann Shea. Annalena Mary Sheehan. Jameson Scholar Sheen. Molly Lynn Scherer. James Evan Shelley. John Russell Shepard Jr. Catherine Shepard. Hollis Miles Shipman. Caden Ford Schumann. Robert Garrity Silcox. Asher Lloyd Silverman. Caroline Grace Summons. Kashmir Shania Deavani Simmons. Devon Simmons Jr. 
Morgan Claire Simmons. Kelsey Todd Sinclair.